What's going on everyone? In this game we have Crackety here in purple as the Byzantines. In the south we have Vashendol as the Mongols in green. So, 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 so. I know I say this in a lot of my casts, but it stays true. I'm excited for this matchup. Any of the new civs versus any of the old civs, I'm always excited to watch. But then again, I'm excited to watch almost every game <laughs> because I've been enjoying this DLC so much recently. Don't let my, you know, my nerd raging every so often get the best. Or I don't let the nerd raging of my uh, get the best of me. We do have. Uh, do we have? No, we do not have an early Rax yet for our Mongols. I'm sure we'll be getting that, though. We do have an early stone, though, for Crackety, who's here. He's there. He's every freaking where. Crackety. And then, so is that, is he going to be going for a second early sister? Is that what he's planning on doing? Hmm. Okay. Well, we do have the early barracks coming down. I wonder if he's just going to go for the early racks into a tower rush as well, or if he's going to just harass the, uh, the gold or the stone and then go into a potential fast castle afterwards. So I've been playing a lot of, uh, Japanese Primarily Japanese. I have been throwing in a couple Ottoman games and Abbasid games. I wasn't sure how well the Japanese would do against Mongols um, in the early stages. Okay, so Crackety is going for the second cistern. Still gathering up a little bit of wood. Or, excuse me, a little bit of stone. I'm not sure why, though. He has enough for the aqueduct. This is getting... He has, Okay, I'm a little confused as to what's going on here. If anybody knows or has seen this kind of playstyle before, uh, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what game to watch because I haven't seen anything like this before. Um, we have two spears out so far. We only have we have another two coming out. Villager coming through. He's going to go for the tower rush on the gold. The barracks is done. And then his spears are going to his own spears are going to be coming out as well. I'm not sure how well this is going to do right now. It's going to be two against four. Eagle spots it. Yeah, I'm not sure what Crackety's going to be doing in this position. Is he going to pull villagers to try to burn down the tower once he gets his second or third or his third or fourth at this point? Limitani. Let's see what these guys are able to do. Meanwhile, back at the Mongols base, he's pulling his three over to gold right now. He's going to be going into the gonna try to go for the age up crackety does pull some of his villagers in order to stop the um oh did he pop akratoi yes he does he's gonna be able to fight this straight out pushes the villager off of the tower before it gets finished he needs to do some damage to it uh that way he that way he, um vashindol doesn't get his full refund on it he's gonna be able to is he even gonna be canceling it or is he going to get a kill on it? It looks like it's going to be a straight kill right there. No refund whatsoever. He has seven. Uh, our Mongol player does have seven spears out now versus the two of Crackety. He is able to deny the tower rush that was attempting to die, uh, deny his gold. And he's still getting. Uh, Crackety is still getting stone. He has 14 banked up right now. Wow, a third cistern in the Dark Age. Okay. Still sitting on his 100, go uh, 100 gold. <laughs> Not sure what I was trying to say there. That was a little awkward. Uh, second Tower Rush is trying to come through right now. We have 
four Lamenti against 13 Spears right now. Uh, yeah, that that's kind of... That's kind of lopsided, to say the least. But he does have level three. <laughs> um, he does have level three sister going on right now with the water level. He's going to try to go for... Okay, he doesn't commit to the to the burn, which is a good thing because there's no way he was going to be able to get that plus survive. It was 100% going to be one or the other, and I don't even think he would have been able to burn down the tower before it finished, even with his uh, seven spears. 13 spears still. He's stopped production. Oh, excuse me. As I say that, two more pop out, sitting at 15. Uh, Mongol does have enough gold for... His age up, missing a little bit of food. He decides to get wheelbarrow and barrel instead of going for the age up, though. 200. Let's see what he goes for. Okay, so he's going for the silver tree. He's going to try to go for the trade uh, behind all of this. We have eight spears wrapping around for harass. Meanwhile, five are chilling inside of the tower. As soon as he ages up, he's going to be throwing arrow slits into that. No stone yet. Oh, no, he does have stone. Sorry, I forgot about the Uvu for a second there. It's been a while. Not going to lie. It's uh, this last week. I think I've only played against two Mongols in 50 games. <laughs> yeah, it's been a lot of Zushi, Byzantine, Japanese primarily Zushi though I think I played about seven of them yesterday and I only played probably nine games Crackity is going to be going for this attack they're pretty even numbers right here since our Mongo player does have five back in his base but the Khan does add in a little bit of extra damage plus one to huntable animals Age up comes through and now attacks while he's able to uh, attacks while moving. He's going to get a lot of poke damage in right here. Yeah, it's pretty minimal. It's only three damage, but that three damage adds up when you're able to attack move or move uh, attack while moving. House goes down a level four cistern already in the dark age. That's lasted eight minutes. <laughs> Uh, still no age up coming through for Crackity. He's barely getting the gold right now. He barely has the food. Uh, Imperial Hippodrome is coming down right now. In the, let's say the center of his base. In between two cisterns. A little bit of harass somewhere. No, I think it was just the, the con doing a little bit of a drive by. But the spears are going to start moving up that way. Uh, since the con did spot it out, we already have an outpost there. So that's going to be able to save the three villagers that are currently mining. Arrow slit. Doing a little bit of poke damage towards the house. That's 15 spears and a con. Con doesn't really add much to the tower. But still, that's 15 spears. They're going to be able to burn that down. Thankfully, the uh, Lamenti are close by. Able to deter that. Pushes them off. We shouldn't be seeing any type of horsemen coming out. Like There shouldn't be any horsemen. Archery, mercenary house. Go into the western contract. Grab longbows. What I would have really liked to have seen... Instead of the Imperial Hippodrome, would have been the Grand, Win uh, Grand Winery uh, in this situation. Just because the Imperial Hippodrome is going to pretty much be... Wait, did he pop Triumph? Oh, never mind. I thought he popped Triumph, but it was just the, the cooldown saying that he got another stack for free. Okay. Or, well that he got a stack uh we'll be up to level five on our cistern while well, crackity will be on level five with his cistern he has uh for vashendol our mongol player he has 18 spears six archers wait what's the difference between 
and then it's gone. I haven't noticed that before. So, oh, okay. I haven't noticed that before. Uh, he's going to try to go in for an attack again. The spears are going to come in, uh, push off. Or this ah, <laughs> got a little tongue tied. The lemon tie came in to try to push off the uh, the spears. But with his little archer mass that he has going on, well, not really mass, but with his little archer force, he's going to be able to pick off a lot of uh, Krakity's spears. We have four uh, four units inside of the tower, adding in quite a bit of damage. But I don't believe that's going to be enough in order to save them. Oh, javelin throwers. Javelin throwers come out and they're going to be able to deal with the archers pretty easily. So that means he went with what? Uh, which contract was it? They're not in the Western. They're not in the Eastern. Wow. What's the name of the. The third contract. I actually have to look that up. I'm going to do that right now while I'm casting because that's going to bother me the rest of the cast. Let's see what else. What do we have going on? He's going to be trying to break down this gate. Don't think it's really going to accomplish much. The javelin throwers could come in and apply quite a bit of pressure onto uh, onto those archers, though. And he uh, Krakity does have archers of his own now. Picks off one of the spears, pushes them away. But we have trade going on in the background. Seven traders are ready, grabbing four food, 44 gold per trip. If unchecked, that's just going to be so, uh, so good for uh, Vashindul in the long run. Both of them, uh, both of these players are high conquerors too. Crackety, I believe, is top 25 at the moment. Top 25, top 30. And then Vashindul is uh, top 100 conch. Uh, not entirely sure of his exact placement. I think the last time I checked, he was about 75 to 85, somewhere along there. A little bit of a wraparound coming uh, coming through for our Mongol. I think he's going to go try to check to see if he finds any villagers up here at the stone. He's not going to see anything. More archers getting rallied through. He's sitting at eight archers, eight spears, a Keshik on the way, and a Keshik already on uh on the board or not on the board, on the field. Uh is he gonna at least be able to get a house? He don't believe he's gonna be able to get the house. No. Keshik is gonna start burning down this gate. I believe that's just yeah, a misclick. Or a miss rally, and he attacks the first thing he sees. Vashindul is getting pushed back from this position. He still has the arrow slit tower right here, doing free damage onto the house. Not sure how long that's gonna last, but we'll keep an eye out on that. The house is getting repaired. We have two Keshiks, five Keshiks out on the field now. 16 archers, 10 limitai, 4 javelin throwers for crackety. Another little rotation coming over here, now up to the west side to try to get uh to try to apply pressure onto the gold again. I think he should I think crackety could just snipe off this tower now if he really wanted to. Especially when uh, Vashindul was rotating towards the right side. That would have been a nice point to try to snipe off that tower. I would really... Since this is since this is Krakity's only gold, I'd really love to see another, uh, another tower get placed there. For the added defense. But meanwhile, back at Vashindul's, he's going for the... Oh, excuse me. He's going for the Kuratai. How many? He's up to 14 traders now. Completely uncontested. Villagers are eating away at that wood. Level 5. He's been at level 5 since, what, the 6 minute mark? He went heavy into stone to try to grab as much as he possibly could. So 
So he builds his Charisophone. Charisophone. Charisophon? Charisophon. There you go. Got it on the fourth attempt. 17 archers, 8 Keshek, 8 spears, and 1 villager kill for... Um, or, and no villager kills yet for our Mongol player. While we have 20 archers, 15 Limentai, 4 javelins for Crackety, but he does have a villager kill. The first villager, the initial one, building the tower. He's cleared this out now. So he's going to be able to get the uh, claim his second gold. Finally, his primary gold source. Finally doing a full wall off over here as well. Golden Horn is coming down. We could potentially see some of those amazing cataphracts as soon as the age up comes through. Silk Road Mercenary. Okay, so I was looking it up while I was doing this. So it's the Silk Road Mercenary. I couldn't remember the name of it at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the Silk Road, Silk Road Mercenary Cap. I I was just completely drawing a blank on it. Um, but now uh, he will be getting access to the Camel Rider, which is huge for him. If uh, Vashindolv... Oh, that was really... That's really close. Crackety, pay attention. Crackety, pay attention. Crackety, pay attention. Oh. And he was a... He gets caught off guard and GG's out. The game goes to Vashindol. That was good defense. That was a really good defense by Crackety, though. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Have a good one.